Hi all folks, this is Max from accevohacks.com. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install a ROM on your Evo 4 GLT. First, you'll need a unlock bootloader with Twerp installed and rooted. Um, I have instructions over at my site, accevohacks.com. Go check the at the top uh, Evo 4 GLT FAQ. Um, just follow step by step, and uh, once you've rooted your phone, um, go ahead and download the ROM zip file um, and use connect it as a Media, media sync here, and let's go copy the file on my computer. For this example, I'm gonna be installing a free Evo uh, ROM. If there's like two files, like sometimes there is, um, you have to flash the main file and then the second file. Um, basically, do a copy here, free Evo, and I'm gonna put it in my phone. Um, I like to put it in my download directory. It just keeps things from getting everywhere. So let me paste it here, um, paste, and it's copying my ROM file, the whole zip file, do not unzip, um, a lot of people unzip and ask me, I can't flash my ROM, yeah, because you unzipped it, um, on a Mac, it might unzip automatically, just go ahead and grab the zip file, not the uh, folder, so go ahead and copy it over, I'll be back. So when it's done copying, um, you can go back to your phone now, and also you can download it straight on your phone. Um, when you download ROMs, just make sure you use a Dolphin HD browser. A stock browser sometimes has problems downloading large files, and also it's better to download your desktop. Sometimes um, it's a better, you know, it downloads faster, and you know you get a good file versus when you download on your phone. Sometimes ROMs can get corrupt and you have to re-download it several more times. So anyway, go, let's go back to our phone. Next we're going to go ahead and uh, go boot into your um, your uh, torp recovery. So go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button. And uh, wait for it. Wait here. And when your phone resets, let go of the power button and then hold down the power button again. And the volume down here should be uh, in the bootloader. And uh, go ahead and choose uh, recovery and hit the power button. And this should enter you into a uh, twerp recovery where uh, we will install this new Freebo ROM. Um, so make sure you go, had, uh, uh, you go ahead and make a backup by using the backup function um, before you install any custom ROMs. Please, please do that. Otherwise, um, if something goes wrong, you can't restore your phone. Um, do a wipe and do a wipe uh, factory reset. And um, I'm assuming you've used like apps like Titanium Backup to your backup your apps, SMS text backup apps to backup your SMS text messages, and you use Gmail for your contacts. Um, so that's what I'm assuming. Hit the back button and then install. Go to the download folder or where you wherever you copy the uh, ROM zip file over, and I'm gonna click there and swipe to install the ROM. Now if there's additional files, always flash the ROM first and then the um, the next file and next file. Um, so that should be all good. And uh, reboot, that's it. But you only have to wipe in the beginning. Sometimes you might not have to do a wipe, like if you're upgrading from the same custom ROM version 1.0 to like 1.1, then you don't have to um, you don't have to do a wipe. You can just install over it. But do make a backup just in case something goes wrong. Always great because you know backup takes what five minutes. Extra five minutes can save you a lot of headaches. Um, I usually back up any good custom ROMs that I'm using, and you know that way I can go back to it easily. And uh, that's done. You can do this: wipe cache and dolly cache. This will solve most of your problems. So hit that button and swipe. This will just erase the temporary files. You can do it again and again. Um, hit back. Reboot system now. And you should be all good to go on custom ROM here. That took us not that long. Um, just takes long to download those files, but once downloaded, you're probably good to go. And uh, here we go. I should reboot in a second. The Evo 4G LTE takes a little bit longer than other phones to reboot. I don't know why. 
Um, but um, I'll leave this camera on so you can see that you know it's booting and it'll boot into the new custom ROM. So I got the new boot animation for Threevo. Uh, I think this ROM is actually senseless, um, so you'll get a lot of the uh, senseless features. Um, and I'll also, also have a review of this ROM over at hccvohacks.com. And if you have a HCCEVO 4G LTE, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, hccevohacks.com. We update you uh, with uh, ROM of the week, once a week, and also it's a great way for you to get, get in touch with me if you have trouble with your phone um, via email. And uh, we should be all good to go here. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here subscribe button up here it helps me greatly and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus after you watch the video um, so it should pop up any second usually after uh, install installing a new custom ROM you can expect your battery life to get be funky so just make sure drain your battery all the way and charge it all the way to get the full effect of the battery life on the new custom ROM um, any other notes? Uh, maybe two or three minutes. You should. Uh, your phone should boot up. If it doesn't, um, you can try uh, rebooting it. Sometimes just a reboot fixes everything. You can hold down the power button for about ten seconds. Um, but I did feel a vibration just now. Um, you'll usually feel a vibration right before uh, the phone boots. And boom, we're on a new custom uh, ROM without sense. And uh, interesting. That's the first thing I installed. Oh, you know what? No, no, not this one. Maybe another one. This one actually does have sense. Um, but you do get the launcher. Oh, you know, it is senseless. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, that was how to install a new ROM on your Evo 4G LTE. Um, um, anyway, that's it. And uh, have fun with your Evo 4G LTE. And uh, stay high on Android, folks. And, uh, of course, don't buy an iPhone.